Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL playoff semi-final. We've got Paul with his Necromantic versus Aurelensis with his High Elves. In the booth with me is Faimir. Hello. Hello there, and we're here to watch a semi-final between two players and a complete opposite view of how to build a team. Aurelensis, absolutely classic standard High Elf. Paul decided the flesh golems are unnecessary. Who needs them? And he reached the semi-final. Yeah, incredible. And he's got a wizard. And, you know, if he'd had two fleshies, maybe it's Ori Lenses getting the wizard. So, you know, who can say if it's right or wrong? It's certainly working for him so far, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By now, until now, for... I think for regular season, it's not a good idea because we're playing a lot of games. But for uh, the cup, if you manage to have a strong team and get a loss of TV, the stars that Necro gets are so good that compensate by far the lack of the fleshes. Yeah. Yeah, this is almost this is almost convincing to me to do a flesh golemless run next season. In fact I will. There you go, you heard it here first everybody. Blood ball next season. Or maybe this season. I don't know how long's left. Boom, there you go. I remember the last time uh, Jimmy played Necros. The last three games. Yep. <laughs> 36 days old, that means there's still like 12 days left. Could play five games a day <laughs> for five days. <laughs> Qualify. <laughs> I don't want to though. Good point for Analysis Pro giving the proper name to the layman. Ha! Oh, very good. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Tackle and there's a removal instant. I mean, this is a nightmare for Els to be fair. Two tackle frenzy mighty blow and a tackle mighty. Like, it, this is very violent. Indeed, Doug Manitor, yes, absolutely upstaging everybody else with a commentary, uh, with a commentary avatar. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, just, just like in real life, the face a little different, but other than that, you know. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna wait until until I'd made the face, but I thought, screw it, let's just let's just yeah, get it. Yeah, let's go, let's let's go. <laughs> it's not just the body, Jimmy. Though, oh, baby, a lot of oh, the body. here comes PC, perfect but those, chest. Those clothes, oh, that <laughs> man knows a tailor. <laughs> it, the, the funny thing is, it's basically how Jimmy Fantastic looked when I made Jimmy Fantastic the wrestler back in the day. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, so it's funny. <laughs> golden red, he was always golden red. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much, that is pretty much Jimmy Fantastic, the, the, the wrestler. But it's fine here. And I am just some idiot wearing white pants. <laughs> oh, this is the oh. oh, he's dead. All of a sudden, this is looking very bad for uh, Ori. I can't hear. Anything. Yeah, no, no, he's a. Uh... I mean, when your first uh, turn is, uh, you know, you lose two players. Yep. But one of the wolves is uh, Nigel, so yeah. you can manage to get a hit there. One of the huge problems with that swing, of course, is that it's it's double on the numbers. It's minus an elf and it's plus, I mean, scum, but plus scum bench for the necro. Yep. Now he's going to foul you for the rest of the half. It's the horrible thing when that happens. You know you're just seeing an unending rain of boots now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, would, yeah, he's yeah. now got yet another spare piece, so he can absolutely afford those fouls. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, and he's getting on top of the numbers, so it, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, that is always the worst thing that you ever experience when someone does that, because you just know... I mean, he's, he's not going to foul this turn, because he hasn't defended the ball yet, so he, he can't foul now, but, you know... Yeah. He, he could have just moved this guy back and fouled, but for some reason he hasn't, but that's okay. It means he'll have an even safer... Ball, you'd think, unless he's insane and fouls anyway. He should be locked up if he fouls here, shouldn't he? No, there is no proper target for a foul. I mean, are you a skill as a lineman? Yeah, he should be sectioned if he fouls this turn. Yeah. 
think no, that's no, completely I don't... reasonable. Thing Jim's to answer here is obviously um, to, to have given up before playing the game, but are we already at a point where this drive we we deprioritize defending it? It's I don't know. Yeah, scry, hey, whoa! This is a bit crazy. You can one D the ball. Like I'm not saying yeah. he's gonna, but he can one D the ball. And this is turning a big advantage situation into some mild risk, which I I don't love doing. In fact I think you do with one D him. You've got wrestle, okay you haven't got tackle, but you've got wrestle. Well, and as much to the point it, it limits the killing, doesn't it? If they've got to worry about other things, they're less concerned yeah. about how do they slaughter you. Yeah, now you've just opened yourself up. The ball is in a goal that only has dodge, you know? Uh, it's not like... Uh... Yeah, I mean, Tony plays poorly, has made a good case for the defence there, Fermi, sorry to interrupt, that it was two assists with a DP um, when he's already on top numbers. That's It's not a horrible foul, but positionally it's just so exposing. Yeah. If you were Shawnee, you could uh, dodge on threes here and get through there, but I, I can't make three plus dodges, so I never try them. No, not a whole string of them anyway. Um, and you need a good plan for if dodge pops on, say, the first one, what do you do then? Yeah. Are you keeping going or are you stopping and trying something else? Uh, necromantic W Slayer. Um, yeah, necromantic. I mean, you could try that, Jim. Come with the guard around that side and the minute the dodge pops, you stop. But if it doesn't pop, you keep going. Yeah. You know, 3-3-3 three, three, three isn't impossible, is it? No. They're each one in nine fails. Yeah. And there's not much wrong with it going wrong. You're not exposing that much. That elf would be on the floor, and the rest of them are already in a reasonable position because the necromantic is sort of in a bit of a bland position. Yeah. Yeah, it, gives, it gives you an incredible... Uh, okay, so he's gonna, no, he's not, he's not going for it. I think you have to go... I think you go for the ball there. Well, or you give up. I think two choices. You either go for the ball or you give up the half. No, I don't like yeah. just getting in the way. Absolutely. I mean, you, you've heard me say before that if you if you're stuck between those two stools, pick one or the other. Don't don't try and do a little bit of each. Yeah. You know, a yeah. You go chipping, yeah, follow your uh, follow your decision until the bitter end. But I think he has a good chance, you know, to put a lot of pressure in the in the ball. You can you know blitz the skillless zombie at the bottom, and you can you know yeah put a lot of uh, elves very close to the ball. Yeah. <sighs> and. Yeah. Necro is not going to be able to outrun the elves or out dodge yeah. the elves. But with two pushes on the zombie, he's given up, left it on the blodge step. Yeah, that is well. I mean, it's. I kind of see his theory. In some ways, better shots are likely to arrive. It's going to be really hard to keep a stable cage with such slow zombies. Wolves are famously difficult, even, you know, blodge step ones, to keep in position because of the frenzy. I mean, so if he can pull the whites apart a bit, then oh. maybe he can develop better shots. But I mean, I'm with you, Jimmy. I think he should have gone for it. I think that's mm -hmm. may well be the best chance he's going to see. Yeah, I think it's easy from now on. Now you're getting now you're getting frenzy tackle mighted every single turn, and you're getting DP fouled every turn, and it's just it's easy for him to defend the ball. Like that was insane that he gave him that chance. Like it was a two assist dirty player foul, but if he puts him here, the ball's completely safe, <laughs> and he just didn't. <laughs> oh wow, Aurelensis. Store no more <laughs> for Aurelensis this season. <laughs> He's finally broken his store like run. Um it's it's t tricky to frenzy mighty anybody and like to be fair he's the only one that would be easily hittable would be, is this Lino who's got wrestled yeah and even there it needs a couple of assists to make it safe it, it might just be better using the wolves positionally for their fright factor and use the whites to do your blitzing it's a bit more yes of okay. a surgical yeah. tool as much this course. guy is a lovely one to just to just white blitz this turn this and I think we're gonna see he's gonna blitz with the wolf yeah yeah, I'll I mean, blitz with a guard and attack a uh, white. Do you yeah. want to prove a very okay, solid looking the... cage there? <laughs> yeah, he's gone. He's gone from one extreme to the other now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, at this turn, I mean, I, 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 I don't hate hitting with that piece, but I would have tried going through the blood step. It would have failed, but it would have at least gained me some on pitch position. Well, I don't know. I, I, I would have hit him hundred percent. He's he's armor seven. 
He's, has, he's unprotected. Yeah, and he has just got dodge and he is unprotected and it is an easy hit. Yeah. But it does mean you've given up all momentum. But I mean, it's only turn two, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you give the momentum unless you kill the, that uh, player. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he is going to pop in a, a three assist foul, isn't he? That is true. You know, so you're going <laughs> to. Move this zombie across. Oh, God. Move the zombie across and move the white in, eh? Because if this guy gets sent off, he, he's got a bit of an angle in, hasn't he? Bit of an angle for the dangle. Oh, he killed Whoa. him. Oh, dead! <laughs> well, dead, we dead, do currently dead. have dead, dead. <laughs> um, I wonder if we are going to get dead, dead, dead. Hmm. It's not looking good for our lenses right now in this uh, drive. Yes, yeah, someone give that man a fireball. Well, I mean, there is an argument that perhaps two or three superstar elves and a pile of inducements is a good way to come into the late stages of a chalice. Mm. But no one's getting inducements against this this asshole team. <laughs> the necro team, who's going to get the the other semi final is the Chors versus the dwarves. So yeah, yeah no one's getting no one's getting inducements against this <laughs> flesh columnless. <laughs> the, oh, the age man. of the me maxing yes yeah it's, it's Re -re make the team until it works yeah hey, now he's rolled away and he feels like he's got to re-roll it because it's all going wrong yes well also i mean there it's going to be a multiple assist foul on him isn't it and he's going to mighty anything. blow. He would have, he would have pom mighty blow, not pom, not tackle mighty the catcher as well. When he now he gets to save yep. the catcher. Yeah. <laughs> it might be a much bigger. You only get one. You only get one. Uh, you only get one uh, zombie. No matter how many people you kill, it's slightly different to. Uh, but you get it immediately, so it's slightly yes. different to. Uh, you know, Argel, I guess, uh, yeah, yeah. as many as they kill. <coughs> yeah. But that's post-match. Yeah. 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 So it's it's not just better or just worse, is it? It is actually different. Yeah. It was the wrong place to assist, if you ask me. Yeah, I'm I'm interested in this plan. I mean, we do have an enormous amount of pace. We could go all the way up this side. Yeah, you could pile, you could pile into that. Like, I mean, I, are we taking a, a wolf out of our defence and killing the um, the catcher, for example, on the edge of this yeah, picture? Could do. He's nice. Nah, going to hit the right. He's going to hit the fine. Okay. I was going to hit this early and put noise hitting the right line on. Yep. Then why the wolf uh, assists? Nobody knows. Um, it, it's kind of cool looking. <laughs> it's very having, nasty, a, having a wolf up there going grrr. <laughs> Intimidation. Factor. I think he, he was going to blitz with the other wolf and change the, yeah, his I opinion. So too, yeah. Yes, I think you're right. Uh, because if you're going to blitz this guy with a wolf, then you need to tag the catcher first, and you want to ca tag that catcher with that zombie. And once he'd moved the zombie there, then that doesn't work anymore. And I think that's what he realised. I think that's what we saw yeah. him realise. Which is why time. when I suggested with that first zombie tag that perhaps that was the disposable zombie and his real target was the other catcher, but I think he started that turn without a real plan, or, as Jimmy suggests, changed it at least once, possibly twice, during the turn. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's it's fine, isn't it? He's got on top of the elves to the point where he can fritter a turn or two away as long as it's all solid and safe. Yeah, it's only turn three. Plenty of There's time. There's a lot of risk for the elves. Um, a little bit, but not a lot. I like how he's trying to go like super safe now after just going mental on the first turn. <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, surely wouldn't this be guy being better on the other side anyway? Even if that is a send-off, I would have still rather had him on the uh, Lino there, you know? So then you've got a mighty blow threatening the Lino, and he's, it's, you know, but he didn't do that. 
Orelensis needs to make a decision. Do I want to keep playing or do I want to give up the drive? Yeah. Because this this is this is half hearted and I don't think he has enough players to actually make a proper defense. Yeah. No, I, I think if he was going to defend, then it needed to be the aggressive defense that me and Jimmy yeah. like the look of on that. Open yeah, turn. yeah. I also I was in the same boat there. Go and if you're not willing to be aggressive, this is can. this passive defense is just slow suicide. Just run away, run to the corner, blitz, uh, whatever it is, uh, once per turn. Yeah, he's just getting away with every foul, sick as eggs. Yeah. Um, but if you've ever seen Pole play before, this should not be a surprise. <laughs> Yeah, he's got away with it. Like he got the uh, he got the uh, wizard, didn't he? He got the uh, he got the wizard. He got the death. He got the death instantly. Yeah. And then yeah. once he got the death, that's it. Once he gets the death, that's it. It's GG basically in terms of fouling. Yeah. He's absolutely got to foul every turn, guaranteed, hundred yeah. percent. We see if he, you've put that guard in, then it's 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 a little bit harder to make this hit, isn't it? So I did like putting that uh, white in the other side. Um, he can't clear you off the way he did clear him off with only having two men on him. If you're nope. going to tag a guy with two men, you should try and tag him with three, so then they can't clear him off, unless they do yes. some kind of sexy chain. Um, that's, Jimmy... that's the problem. The minute you overcommit, you are giving up those those chain options, but uh, there's ways of covering those two. And yes, the problem it... here is there's still another you know, dodge-only piece that can get knocked over with tackle mighty blow and then fouled afterwards, and Pole will be quite happy with that. Oh, he's, he's hitting turn five. He's got fast pieces. He doesn't need to go forwards. Yes, it's hit, a hit the catcher. catcher. Isn't it? Yeah, hit the catcher a million percent. Yep. But he's not doing it. It's crazy. He's not hitting the catcher. If What's wrong with him? It. Yeah. What's wrong with him, PC? What's wrong with him? I don't know. Still can. Still can. Uh, hit I think the he sees, the, I think he sees the, nice, the softer ways. option, and a foul is just fine. Oh man. The yeah. aggressive just defense. His pattern. Augmented Bayer was when uh, Paul wasn't perfect in position in after turn one and left the door more or less open yeah, at the bottom yeah. right. Yeah. That's when uh, I will uh, don't need, you know, bleach something, enter there, pull some elves there, put a lot of pressure, and then Paul have to think a lot every play because the yep. good thing about this uh, good uh, high elf team is that every player, every single player, is a risk to the ball. Yeah. And with those frenzy pieces, they need support. You could pull this team apart, but you have to have gone for it. When you had that chink of light, you had to go for it right there. Yeah, look, as we see, he's taking the sideline because he wants to put this two-assist foul in. Yeah, yeah, but uh, that was just a terrible blitz. You Either you surf this guy or you bloody hit the hit the wrestle guard. Like, I uh, yeah. hated what he did there. This was guy was easily yep. surfable. You could have put the sidestep in there and uh, pushed him to there, pushed him there, and then surfed him out. Or, you know, you could have... Like, I guess you just don't go for it. But you could have easily just hit him anyway. Like maybe you don't let him hit the, him with. The no, guard I mean what I liked about like what I liked about hitting the guard is first of all I want to kill the guard, yes. and secondly it allows me to centralise against yes. now a very thin number of elves, which yes. makes it almost impossible for to see how they stop. Yes, and you foul him. So like it's incredible. You're blitzing yeah. into the foul. Like it's such a yep. it was such an amazing like cause wolves are fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, six to get there. Two hits, and then you're just blitzing him right into a massive foul. Like not a two assist foul like this crappy one. It could have been like a mega foul. It would have still failed probably on a three, but yeah. still. <laughs> <laughs> and because it was only turn four, you've still got plenty of time afterwards to um, you know, to get on with doing other stuff. Yeah. And, and as I said, you've centralised against a thinning number of L's, which is where I want to be. Yeah. This is this is like uh, this is like uh, what's it called in it the the battle the battle of Thermopylae, isn't it? This. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if the elves have any hope, it's it's in using their exactly this the fact that they can defend just half the field. Yeah. With half a team, yeah, yeah. Not, I mean, the full field with half. A team. You look at the pitch now. You know the the Negro has the a whole team of players. They have eleven, but they don't look like eleven. Yeah, they're so you know so, so tight. There is like this is the only one. And uh, yes, Star Ferret it is Jimmy PC and Antonio Banderas. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> this is Fainia, who is Spanish. <laughs> yes, Spanish as they are. Living in Scotland for the last 10 uh, years. <laughs> oh, uh, Sublang, the chaos, the chaos killer. <laughs> Le chaos killer. Oi, oi, oi. Hello. Hello, Sublang. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, congratulations! What a crazy, what a crazy game against. <laughs> Absolutely, game. history, history of the chalice there. Yeah, unbelievable. Awesome. Yeah, and Shu now the my my idol, my hero. <laughs> a a shoeing is is what I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to deliver to every chaos team I ever face. <laughs> The bar is now set very, very high. Yes, yes. Like, uh, from uh, Dwarf Team uh, Legends, only Arknalax Legend is above uh, Shublank killing uh, Mr. Page. <laughs> only epic, the absolutely epic, legendary and uh, glorious Arknalax uh, running yep. the chalice can compare to, can be better. You know, yeah, not since yeah. Arsenal destroyed Liverpool in 1989 has anything so momentous happened. <laughs> Shu fully destroying Page's Blood Bowl career and driving him into the arms of storybook combat. <laughs> uh, as that's the only thing I can explain it by. Yeah. He even said, what a fun last game ever. So uh, he's definitely, like, I don't think he is definitely giving it up forever, but uh, he probably would be just as happy I mean well, you've got to be happier playing anything if you can get the same numbers <laughs> playing anything except Blood Bowl then most people would do that I think <laughs> you know it's only lunatics like me who've been playing it all my life that will carry on you know I'm sure we'll see Mr. Page back but he might take a break that was a brutal brutal game of Blood Bowl he was already playing a lot of the card game before anyway, yeah, he was, so. yeah, exactly, yeah it's a it's a great game for a streamer to play honestly it is really great. Mint like and for zero effort. <laughs> yeah, and for his kind of crowd, which I, I with all due respect, I'm not talking crap about anything like that. But they like, you know, the emojis, the things on the screen and all that, the artwork and all that of the of the, the card game, the uh, You mean that a the game based on children's stories. The storybook brawl, the the storybook brawl like yes, it's, it's really right. good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably fair for me. Yeah. Yeah, I'd I'd just take a break anyway. I like sick. I'd take a break if I was anyone from Blood Bowl. <laughs> so we seem to be in a bit of a rut here with the the necromantic trying to keep doing the same thing, i.e., yeah. hitting an elf turn and fouling it, and trying to move ever so slowly down the sideline in the tightest possible oh, pack. Wait, 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 wait. We can. We're are we gonna see a a, a wolf a blitz here. No, he's he's already blitzed. He's, he's already blitzed. Oh, yeah, it's true, yeah. Why is Paul cornering? No idea, Valhavia. As you said, very, last turn he had the chance. He had the chance to move central whilst hitting the the guard wrestle catcher. Like it was a yep. perfect blitz, and he didn't. He just cornered himself more and more. He's weird. I mean, I think we should be grateful. I think he's trying to add to the dramatic tension. <laughs> yeah. Add into the drama equity. A term yeah. that I coined uh, before the match when I was explaining for an American <laughs> movie kind of a style uh, always this game which I cannot repeat because you two probably send all of us to jail <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> and again it's like we, we miss in the Shublang uh, game the Shublang had the drama equity because Mr. Page have um, defeated Miss Pill 3 which is a lady and everybody knows that dwarves are uh, midget incels <laughs> That's it. They were, you know, I can imagine a troll slayer, you know, tip, uh, sorry, a long beard tipping, tipping his fedora to Miss Spill Tree. You have avenged my lady. And that's it. That's five death in turn four. What you don't realize, Vermeer, is that quite a lot of dwarves are ladies. You just can't tell beneath the beard. No, the Warhammer one and ones. No, the women don't have beard in the Warhammer ones, I think. I mean, they can, they can, they can. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. <laughs> Right, so Aurea Lens is still trying to chip a zombie <laughs> around the edge so here. Holy shit, that's amazing. <laughs> that's it, I mean, you watch, you know, the typical gamer, you know, all the cliches of a gamer. And a long beer or equivalent dwarf player, they are the same. <laughs> you know, there are gods, they are uh, chaos dwarves. <laughs> I'm sure there's a beautiful piece of fan fiction to be written in the dwarf incel community. I think that, that would be a... Just a imagine, Discord definitely worth visiting. Just imagine the uh, dwarf runner with a fedora, tipping the fedora, <laughs> scoring a touchdown. Is it? This is man. 
fuck I could be a dwarf, you know that? Hire me, hire me, Shanaid, hire me right now. You know the guy from the the skins. He looks like he could be a dwarf, doesn't he? He's got the right build. (laughs) Oh, man. (sighs) You've cracked it fine, mate. (laughs) In many years, many years watching football and watching the gaming community destroy itself. Like, I can see, you know, I listen to (laughs) see. Oh man, amazing. Amazing. What incels live in basements, dwarves live in mountains. <laughs> yeah. Mountains if you say no. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Look there we go, there's there's a dwarf. <laughs> there you go, there you go, that's a ra- a runner dwarf. <laughs> That's it, that's the runner, just after scoring. Yeah, there's not tipping the hat to the cheerleaders. (laughs) (laughs) Holy shit. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, God. I mean, to be fair, to get back to the game for a second anyway, I mean, Necro are quite good at going down a sideline, better than most, aren't they? Because, you know, you've got to think about can the wolf surf you, so, and especially yeah. the fleshies that can hold it. And they've got their flesh golems. Fleshies that can hold yeah. it, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, flesh golems with their stand firm and wolves, they are masters at the edges. Um, but he hasn't got any flesh golems, and he has been unwilling to use his wolves because the frenzy does mean, even against this few elves, they can very easily be taken out of position. Um, which is what I would have been trying to take advantage of as Aurelensis. Uh, I know that Claw means it's AD7, not AD8. But if you had got on top of these wolves, if you had pulled them out of the cage, then suddenly two whites and a bunch of zombies trying to defend the ball looks a lot less strong. Yeah. But he he decided not to. He must have known Pole was going to come fouling. Yes, yeah, once, 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 the, once you'd lose one player. But like, even if he hadn't, like he still had two reserves, he's still going to foul a fair amount, isn't he? But, like, there's no mercy with yeah. fouling once you get the, uh, once you get the reserve. Extra reserve. But you know, at some point, Orelensis is going to be able to make a chain of any kind, and he's going to sharp half the Necro team. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, must be hitting his head on the head. Oh, yeah, leap. Just a player will leap. Yeah, well, I mean, you can, you can one day here and then surf, can't you? This is a... An easier I mean, surface uh, you can leave on. To oh, channel yes, my yeah. inner Jimmy for a second, though. It, this could be worse for the High Elves. They've still got some numbers that could run away. Two of the better ones that have disappeared are any KO'd. They're going to get two rolls on those. Chances are they get one and a half back, so that's not too bad. There is a bench of one. Oh, he's got so a guard. As long as he, yeah, and if, as long as he keeps the guard, the killer safe, and has the ball and a reasonable number of Elves in the second half, this could all still be fine. It's not even a one, it's a two. It only lost two players at one bench, so yeah, anything he's... could happen, you know, it's not, not as bad. The, the... There you the go, there you go. absurd decision Sharf. to come down this edge and just yeah. allow themselves to be sort of dominated by really few elves. Yeah, insane. Um, this is now all in trouble, isn't it, Jimmy? Yeah, absolutely insane. He was trying to edge him, but actually he's the one that's ended up being edged. Uh, I have the true edge, lords. <laughs> well, I think it shows that this doesn't work without flesh golems. Yep. Oh, what's a cast? Oh, <laughs> oh wow. He well, got punished. the punisher punished. <laughs> oh, wow. Incredible. Idiotic play, punished, amazing. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm i trying to be nice, Jim. You know me. I'm, I'm Mr. Lovely, but he completely deserved that. And it's sometimes nice when you get what you deserve. Blah, blah. It's rare, but that was fully deserved. He shouldn't be on this edge. He didn't need to be. Unfortunately, he, poor by Ori, right? This guy should have been two squares forward. This yes. guy should have been two squares forward. Yeah, he's, he's allowing them to now centralise. Yeah, yeah. He's, That's such a shame. Yeah, he's corralled them all this way down, and then one little positional error now. And if Pole takes advantage, he's going to lose everything he's gained here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Pole is going for it. Brilliant. Well, well done, him. Yeah. I mean, I guess if we're going to be fair, that's punished each way, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Yeah, that was a big mistake. Big mistake. It really was. 
was way too easy. You had to hold this with you had to have two hill holding this because he couldn't really push down down through here because you know yeah. he's got he's got the blitzer and the catcher holding that. That wasn't yeah. easy to push down there, but that was just way too easy to push down. So. And if you're holding, even if you're holding with one, it needed to be a couple of squares in front of that, yeah. and try to hold, but really two. Yeah, yeah you'd have to use two. Now, and now the wolves will just run ahead, scurry yeah. off. Yeah, easy. I mean they're reasonable handoff options, aren't they? Oh, Jim Shard. Such a shame. The the highs then the low of like whoops, my defence has gone. <laughs> I mean, okay, he only had five players, well six players, it was hard to hold it with six standing players, but he, he could have held it better than that, unfortunately. Um hello Steve Matty. Hello Flicky. However, again, let's look at the upside. Um I will, he has uh, tell, uh, one of the two was, whites. And, uh, you know, as we've talked about, trusting the wolves without the fleshies to back them up is, is harder to do. Uh, there's still a, an okay number of elves. I mean, six on the pitch, three that can come back, one on the bench. He could still be at nine, maybe even ten for the second half. This could have gone worse. Yes. Yeah, but now he has to, Paulo has to offer to the mighty blow a uh, tackle uh, catcher uh, or a wolf or that ghoul with a uh, worse uh, sidestep. Yes. I know, it's it's just too hard to decide which of those I want to try and kill. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the thing, I mean, isn't it? Like the wolf heart is... says wolf, head says ghoul. Yeah, I go for the ghoul only because they can't regen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But then he's got such a long bench, you're not going to get on top of numbers. Yeah. But getting the ghoul off and replacing it with a zombie, still good value. It, oh, it's so tricky. It is tricky, but like the wolf is so good. But then he's got another one anyway, so even if you do get rid of it, he's still got a tackle, mighty blow, frenzy, hit, yeah. blitz anyway. So yeah. And if you get rid of it, it's 50% coming back. Yeah. Whereas with Famir, as Famir says, if you get rid of the ghoul, that's gone. Yeah, gone forever. Uh, I think it, I think I'd go ghoul. I think you'd, I think ghoul, you'd go ghoul just because both wolves are as good as each other, you know. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. the ghoul also gives you easy access to put pressure on the ball with the rest of the catchers and all that. I mean, all these yeah. people move eight, <laughs> you know. So yeah. No dirty rock. So um, Paul is the guy who's down TV. He has a wizard. Um. <laughs> but he has <laughs> iron down. rolls, so <laughs> two dead. Yeah. Yeah. Which Orelensis had to take because the Apple is obviously for the real good players. Yeah, they're like the worst players possible to have got hurt, weren't they? Really, just dodge, yep. dodge blitzer. I guess it was dodge blitzer, so he could have appled it. With it well, death, but then again, it only. I mean, I'd have been tempted time. on the first death for that exact reason to for zombie prevention. Yeah. But the fact there's been two meant it wouldn't have worked. They'd still have a zombie by now. Yeah. But I, I still would have been tempted for that. And reason. the Apocula fail, and you... <laughs> yeah. Does he just go in for the hit on the ball? He could do. It's not terrible, is it? It's not. He has rolls, turn seven. There's only one turn left for the Necro, you know? Paul is here, well, he uh, can all dandy and nice. A, yeah, I think he is. And, he's, he's seen a lovely one die. And you can, you know, go put a lot of pressure on the ball. Now, I recently read a very interesting thing, Jimmy, that uh, that told me that a dodge-in uh, is 55% to work. Yeah. But it didn't. <laughs> but now his player's getting hit. So out of all the options, do you hit the ghoul or do you hit the werewolf? It turns I out the option go. was get your, yeah. get your <laughs> mighty blow hit well, by his wolf. <laughs> and then 50% your for a one die to... <laughs> try and snaffle it up with the catcher and punt. I I didn't hate it. No, neither did I. And it was nice. It was nice getting that that push direction potentially, wasn't it? It did give like yeah. there was a lot of payoff there. And to say he only had like five players to do it with, that ended up being pretty great. Oh, Paul yes, makes yeah. these hits all day, Steve. Yeah. And loads of sidestep around there, but the ball actually there just on a, a, a naked girl a dodge ghoul. So if you made that fifty five percent. The one die was a fifty percent, so it was it was you know very nice odds. And of course, dodge taking you through with that fifty five percent. If you got there, you would still have a reroll to use for the hit. 
Yeah, yeah, there wasn't a four plus dodge, and but uh, this gave you the better push right, like of all the other squares to yeah. hit from. This gave the best push direction because if you pushed him out of here, it could scatter out into like one tackle zone quite easily, or you know. Um, and like really importantly, it, it didn't require, other than the one round the back, it didn't require any other cancelling. So it left every other L free to try and deal with it afterwards as well. Yeah. Um, so it was definitely the best choice of where to go from and how to do it. Yeah, yeah. If you're going for it, which is, wasn't necessarily, you know, it, but probably was the only way you're going to stop it. I think it was the best play. But obviously none of us know. We don't have a Blood Bowl supercomputer. But, um, uh, Jim, I think having let him centralise, the odds of stopping the score were zero. Yeah, I think well, that was absolutely not the best. zero, but pretty much zero. Well, that's the so thing. Yeah, yeah. So that was that was better. Yeah, but oh, on, the, yeah. on the other hand, if you get the mighty blow hit a goal, then yeah. uh, you know. But yeah, you can uh, put pressure on the ball, and then the ball has to make a roll. So. But I mean, when we were talking about which one to hit, we didn't anticipate a situation where he would leave the ball with a single elf being able to move and cancel and then an under threat elf able to do a single dodge for a four plus you know a 55 percent dodge for a four plus no, which is a hit that. you just can't turn down at this point in chalice yeah i mean well, as yeah, i said then just... the ball to be able to pick it up and punt it away and stop the touchdown was not difficult for elves so it just had to be done yeah yeah i think so Paul did his no. uh, very best to give Ori Lenses a lot of chances in the half. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, considering the level of you know control he had over. Yeah, there was a moment of complete dominance, and then when he stopped killing a player per turn, I was like, "What am I supposed to do here? This is not working. Is my game broken?" <laughs> in the midst of me over-explaining, we uh, we have mixed uh, one very key thing, which is that uh, there are two high elves that have not woken up on the first attempt. Yep. So we do have eight on the field, but uh, we could really use at least one more back. Well, it's hard. To, it's hard to get the one turn though, isn't it, against the two fresh yeah. dolphins? Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you put the wolves up on the line here? No. <laughs> <laughs> no there we he's, are. Only, he's only got eight. This isn't easy, is it? He's gonna be nah. a group of uh, stupid zombies, and uh, he'll try to use kick. And none of them will move up, so he, he needs three spaces, and even with a blodge step, that's not that easy. Yeah. Uh, and actually, none of them move eight to blodge step, are we? It's, um, the blodge steps are move six. Yep. So, yeah, he needs three genuine pushes on a catcher. That's yeah, going to be very hard. Yeah, I'd just let him go for it, and if he gets it, fair play. Um, yeah, six so eggs. The chance on, on the early chance, like, was better than that, but of course. It's different, right? Different situation completely, isn't it? So if he goes for it on the early turn, then all of his guys or like you know could have been in trouble and stuff, and it, it you know it could have yeah. been like a, a way worse outcome. Whereas there, you pretty you've pretty much got to go for it because you you're not gonna like okay, the chance of maybe casting that goal versus the chance of maybe stopping the score, like you've and maybe even counter scoring, like there was yeah, yeah. there might have even been a chance of counter scoring if you if you could have got it to a catcher and the catcher could have you know GFI'd four squares. I don't know exactly where Akachi was. Maybe he even had a chance of counter scoring. Unlikely, but it's possibly had the chance of counter scoring. But um you know, so that was the thing, like he he basically had to go for it, I guess. On that last now the problem is that the Paul is still has the wizard. But if you you know you can say that the Paul has the numbers advantage. Yeah, so I mean the wizard look is the quality of the players is like they are very even. Yeah, because I mean, I mean the wizard is good. Of, of some of zombies there, you know that they they are not very good at stopping elves. Yes, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Sure. However, and wizard <laughs> wizard is always bad. No one wants to face a wizard, but as elves, it's a bit less bad. Yeah, yeah um, it's very. You don't hard usually have to run hard. cages. You can run screens, so fireballs are less effective. Um, and just about anything, you know, anything that if you fire, if you uh, blitz, if you blitz bolt uh, a ball carrier on elves. Well, any other elf can pick it up and be the ball carrier. It's fine. Yeah. And now, so they're, they're just a bit less effective. I've managed to. Uh, the average movement in his team is eight. <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the, the weak, the slow elves are dead, so now the average speed is higher. <laughs> now, well, and this is, this is kind of the argument for pro elves, right? Isn't it? Because. Now we've, now he's got three linemen and, and five positionals. So if they were pro elves, they would guarantee be a better team as pro elves now, wouldn't they? Because he's already lost the players. 
I think uh, there will be uh, less linemen if they were proverbs. Well, that is the problem, yeah. yeah. But it's interesting, I've, isn't it? It's interesting whether it's worth having those better positionals for worse linemen. I think Armour, for example, this lineman here, blotch, high step, with proverbs is very difficult to get because Armour 7, I mean, too many horrible things will happen to them. Yes. I absolutely yeah. prefer high elves for that reason. But. Yeah, high elves in the long run, you know, in the high TV, like uh, is when the linemen start to shine. Yeah. Well, one of the key differences, I think, is if we look back at that turn two or three att attempt that was turned down by Ori, if there'd been, I mean, with high elves, you're thinking I could spend a, send a couple after the ball, base everything else, else, and because of the you know amount of blodge step and the amount of AV8, I might lose an elf or two if it goes wrong, and I might be in trouble, but you know, I could have a go at this. As pro elves, you're thinking, I could have a go at this, but if I really do tie this team down and go for the ball, I might lose my entire team. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Um, so the, just the, the risk is so much higher, usually. Nice kick. He's got the kick zombie in just for this reason. Well, I mean, it, it, it genuinely is, isn't it? That does make it even harder. Does he just accept well, the power now? Because he made the blitz with Mighty Blow. No, he doesn't. He should accept the Mighty Blow to do the last hit then. Yeah, but getting rid of a zombie. Well, there are not that many left. I mean. No, I mean, Jim's not wrong there. That is absolutely rinsing it for the final 1% of equity. But yeah, <laughs> he should have done exactly that. It is yeah, yeah, ever so yeah. minorly that 0.01% better chance of an outcome. That's what I like. <laughs> I've done this hit with a mighty blow. Yeah, yeah, because it's going to hit him too. Oh, he cast him so he's not taking that square up. <laughs> <laughs> and he regens so he didn't even get removed. <laughs> Brutal. Well, he's, he's got the SPP, so, you know, that's always a great thing. Right, got a level. Got a level with that. He survives. He'll get the... Yeah, there we are. Genuine advantage. He got a level. In fact, that should have been the sidestepper. That should have been Look. the sidestepper making that block, because then he yes. would have hit him into there, and then he would have sidestepped up to here, and that would have been even better, wouldn't it? He's uh, the Nigel Blitzer, so he rolls a double. He can get thick school to, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Because that's what you do. Fantastic. <laughs> but yeah, that the yeah he should have been the sidestepper. Then he could have hit this into this. Then he sidesteps to here, um, and then this guy dodges there, doesn't he? That would have been the way. It, uh, yeah. So this should have been the sidestep making that block. Interesting. Fantastic comment from Bezel there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> The classic Italian defense. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked. But yeah, that should have been yeah, the sidestepper. Yeah, it's fucked. So now we're... I mean, if you had more elves, you could fill that hole. But with this many, you can't. It was... I think it was pretty much fucked anyway, right? Because that should have been the sidestepper making that block. Yeah. See, that's why I don't want to learn uh, how to do proper... I want the... Uh, turn touchdowns. So I don't, uh, my heart never gets broken. Absolutely, <laughs> just coach dwarves. No one ever expects you to, and you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> That's why I'm playing now with some uh, games with orcs. With uh, nothing to happen, no chance. <laughs> just hit things, and that's it. If you don't, if you're not playing to qualify. The difference between losing and winning a game is usually is only three SPP. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> you can even get more money than the guy that wins the game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, 3 SPP, but if you get the chance of doing two casualties <laughs> in the long term, your team is becoming stronger. <laughs> okay, so the IL, High Elves did get the uh, one of the KOs back, so they are back at 9. Yeah, not terrible. That's alright, isn't it, for an Elf Drive? Particularly against a Necromantic team lacking... Um, what is it? Oh yeah, any Flesh Golems at all. Yeah. And down a down a white now as well. That's a big. Yep. That's a big white loss, isn't it? That that yeah. tackle ninety guard. Uh, yeah, it was the one there that was uh, doing all the hits. Yeah, it was the yeah. better. Now he needs this to is, risk the wolves. This is now effectively a team of three players, as he's not bringing his ghoul onto the field. And this was armor seven as oh, well. The no, the ghoul is now seven. coming on. Okay. 
So there is a Nigel Wolf, a Nigel Wolf, Armor 7 White, a Ghoul with 3 SPP, and that's it, so... Maybe no Daka. Let's see. Let's see if he Dakas or not against this. Because it's, it, it's not that threatening, but on the other hand, they can still just mighty blow tackle somebody down and then foul the shit out of them every turn. Like they can Which is absolutely what Pole will be doing. Demolish. All turn. All half. Yeah. I'm not even sure he's that interested in turning over and winning. I think he just wants to kill elves. Yeah, and win in overtime is fair and enough. And win in you. overtime. Yeah. If I were Ori Lenses, it was my situation because I'm a shitter player that can uh, plan for <coughs> long term. I'll go to win in uh, regular time. Read my teeth, get the the blitzes with the wolves, eat them, but I score quick, really as quick as possible, and then I'll have to have a very good chance of defense with nine, eight players yeah. against three players and a bunch of uh, zombies. Well, the other thing in its favor is another 50% chance of getting person 10 back. Yeah. Yeah, I don't hate going for the fast score here just because. You know, as, as we said, Paul's, yeah. happy. Paul's happy just to foul every turn, rip yep. and tear, and then by the time it gets to overtime, it's against like five or six high elves, and he's got a wizard even if he loses the toss. So, yeah, maybe he's just go for the quick one, and, and that's why I would have gone for it early in the first half as well. Anyway, I'm going to get a cup of tea now, being right back. Yeah, and if, right. he pushes, if he does push a few receivers deep, um, then the whiz is really not effective in that situation. And then he can score and turn two or three, which again, before the wizard can really change the game around. Yep. I mean, and then the wizard the day, probably is saved for overtime. Um, end of the day, if high elves want to score, high elves will score. Yeah, it's not quite as reliable as pro elves, but certainly they are very good at that side of the game. And he's not short of catches, which gives him both agility and speed. And now that he's got the ball in hand, I don't hate just a really quick move down a flank. The problem there, of course, is the Wolves, which is why I might still drop the ball back and go for receivers downfield and the old Elf two-step. Yeah, I would uh, bleach the Ghoul, or oh, there you go, the Ghoul without the skills or anything like that. There you go. Yeah. Maximum chance of uh, getting rid hit. of a piece. Yep. And without the messy sidestep to worry about. Oh, doesn't even break the armor. Ah, oh, was it? It was a, even the armor break was absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah, I thought I thought better of the tea. <laughs> I'll wait until I wait until after the match before before Stanford. Well, Jim, we've had a we've had a ball catch uh, on a catcher, which obviously has got the legs, so he's pushing straight down this flank. Mm -hmm. We saw a lovely assistant hit on the naked ghoul, uh, but didn't break armor. But now, obviously, he's trying to defend a pocket against whatever those evil those wolves could wreck. Worrying. Well, particularly as the guard is is movable, uh, you know, will be moved because it's on a zombie. Oh my goodness. There's. Mm. I, I, Jim, how can we afford to take that hit? Uh, you've, that got, you've, got you've got another guy here. You've got another guy here. This Lino has just got like GFI. Twice. Three, four, five, six. <laughs> no, he probably can't. <laughs> Seven. But the, 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 I, I see a potential gaping hole here. Yes, yeah. He's, uh, he's yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I, yeah, this one can. Okay. I can yeah. see, you know, uh, so many. There we go. That's probably all right now. Probably. Yeah, yeah even one GFI. But, I mean, you're really, you're really weak to the Wiz, that's the problem, isn't it? Yeah. And to the guard going in behind the catcher guard. Oh, no, okay, you can't get in behind him. I see, yeah. Okay. So it would be two assists to push him. And then a fourth, 
four to get there with a wolf. Yeah, it's probably not worth doing that. Just use the whiz if you want to really do it. Do it now. Now we're thinking. If you don't probably... care and just want to kill things, then there's plenty to foul in the line of scrimmage area, and you can just let them wander down and score. Yeah, I don't think you whiz. I don't think you whiz because you know over time we just keep it. Keep it as a defensive measure. You know, if you mostly against elves, you just got to keep it in case you lose the ball, haven't you? That's the real value yeah. of a wizard. Is, is yeah, it's it's to return over, isn't it? Yeah, to turn back time. Which is why most elves have a plan right that now. steals the ball and gets it away yeah. for exactly that reason. He said, "Yeah, he must be contemplating the wizard." He could fireball these three. That wouldn't even be bad, would it? He could fireball the mighty blow catcher, the yeah. tackle blitzer, and the guard catcher. And if he knocks over like even one of those, then that's super easy to hit away. And then for the two D on the ball, and then uh, if he knocks over, obviously like that guy is just great, isn't it? And then yep. <laughs> yeah, so that might, that might have been a nice. Two of them are AV seven for potential attrition as well. Yeah. You know that that wasn't a bad fireball. Yeah, it really was. But as you said, it's really hard at this point not to think, even if he scores, I'm ahead on numbers, as long as I chip an elf or two, I've got the wizard for overtime, or I get the ball in overtime, this is all fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. You can just blitz and foul, and blitz and foul. So even that wrestle's great. I'd be amazed if we don't see another assist put on it and a foul dropped in. I mean, he's a... Yeah. Oh, he's on the wrong square. What? Yeah, so that, perhaps I'm wrong. He doesn't look like he's fouling. What the hell, Paul? It's just going to GFI foul. Yeah, so GFI, yes, for, for a style points, you know, that extra speed. <laughs> Which is odd, because I'd actually have wanted the ghoul one further back, but... If it GFI would have had a GFI, he would have had a GFI. That's a so Leaving the ghoul in front means even if the zombie's sent off, something is there defending the wall. Wow! Oh. Well, this is like a, please, a score. Mm -hmm. Telling the, the, the audience that if he wants to score, he can score no problem at all. He's not fouling. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it. I'm, I'm oh, 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 wait, 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 no, wait, wait. GFI foul. There we are, yeah. The, the panic flying. set in as he realised he'd, he'd closed his fouling options. <laughs> now, some of you may be thinking, but hang on, he's even allowed the line of scrimmage, an area he was in total control of, to now be completely at the whim of what the elves want to do. <laughs> and done nothing about that catcher with guard well, that looked really vulnerable. You and now cost himself that. a re-roll, because he's absolutely re-rolled. No, it's not. And that's 1-1 one, one for uh, Oriolensis. <sighs> and now not even got his foul in because of mispositioning that ghoul while sacrificing all position all over the field. Yeah. And I'd say, yeah, that, that's what happened. Yeah, I, I, would, I don't know what was wrong with putting the white, uh, the wolf where the zombie was going to go yeah. and then just found And now kill the uh, ghoul, uh, the wrestler uh, step uh, ghoul? Yes, yeah, you got to hit him, haven't you? The problem is, and if you score. hit him, then you've got a score, stall for another turn. Or, or you could, or you could hand off to him, and then you could hit him. But then, what if you're one in nine? So it's it's a bit tricky. I'll say that uh, you know this whole are things. Score. Try to recover the player, uh, your extra player. Yeah, but the the problem is, if you hit him, then it's double GFI to score. Or we'll hand off GFI to score, which is a bit shit, isn't it? Whereas yeah. if he didn't blitz him, he could have just handed off to score, which is a lot better yeah. than 2G. Yeah, but that's it's a good, it was a good target. It's a very it juicy a target. target. It was a juicy target, but I'm not sure it was worth it in terms of, like, you really want to score without using your reroll, don't you? And also, you really want to score. Like, yes, <laughs> because, I mean, the problem, is, the good thing about scoring so quick is it doesn't allow wizard use. Yeah. Whereas this turn, it absolutely does. Now, to some degree, pulling the wizard isn't terrible at this point, but I mean, this could also work. Yeah. And if you scored quickly, you don't give the wizard that chance. Yeah. You, you get another roll on your KO, and you get nice lots of elves back, and you try and then finally take on this not really there necromantic team. Yeah. Oh, he's freezing. Oh, wow, he's got dodge. Oh, no, stand here, stand here. Ah, I need someone here. What, 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 what? Where's he? Jim, he's done it again, hasn't okay, he? Okay, he's all right. Okay, he's bringing that one in. Okay, all right, that's all right. 
Probably should have done that one first. Yeah. <laughs> Would have been safer. Because even on the ground, it clogged up the picture, didn't it? Mm. Yeah, that was that could have been real bad. Come too. Um. Okay, with how it ended, I don't hate this stall. Yes. Yeah, I like. I like it. I don't even don't hate it. I like it a lot more because now, yep. you know, if if you fail one of those two GFIs and you lose your reroll, that's terrible. And obviously, if you if you actually roll a double one or a one, like you know, a, a one the second GFI, then you fuck down you. So yeah, the, okay. the fail state was pretty bad until quite late in the turn. Yeah, but the, the, you, end, the end state was really really nice. I, I I will take a scoring three. Yeah, but that's the maximum I'm willing to give. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scoring three without any rolls at all is much better than scoring two with having to roll at two two pluses. Yeah, because that that gives you a chance to just. Also, I mean that that goal yes. is, is. And although nothing he did was that risky, there's probably a cumulative ten percent chance that there was a bad fail state on the way to this good end state. Um, so there was a bit of risk in there, but it's it was probably fine. But now he's, of course, this wrestle has, has led to a uh, mega uh -huh. foul. Yeah, on a decent piece. And some ability to get this very unresponsive necromantic team back in front of this ball as well. Yeah. Sacrifices has to be made. <laughs> I mean, at this point, any blitz, the necro does, is going to be a good player. Yeah. Yeah, I've never loved the phrase "sacrifices have to be made," because <laughs> uh, my first question is, "Do they?" <laughs> and then, secondly, it always seems that the people making the sacrifices are very rarely the people saying that. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm willing, you know, to allow you to sacrifice is what people do in my name usually. So yeah. Yeah, sacrifices need point. to be made by you. <laughs> by you. Um, so so I, so I, you know, I can enjoy, you know, the the results. Yeah. Some of you may die, but that's a price I'm willing to pay. <laughs> to pay. <laughs> At this point, that's the high elves on the pitch are like that. Guys, and once time, a year, we you know, will remember you. Someone, someone will have uh, to eat a wolf. <laughs> Here we go, okay, so other says. than the... In yeah, we just have to reinforce the... No, we're going to foul instead, of course we are. You have to foul. Like, you just have to. Yeah, but we haven't reinforced the white, so they can still score incredibly easy if they want. To. Yeah, but you got a foul. <laughs> like you got, you got a foul. You just got it. Yes, got but one. there was an unmoved ghoul that could have come round first you and reinforced the white. Yeah, a dodge. That was the problem. Like either of the ghouls would have had to dodge off, so I, I like going for the foul first and then make the dodge afterwards because you got a you got a foul, that guy. He's too good. Well, now we also have to score because now it's 50% to get him back. And as you said, he's too good to not have back. That, was that wasn't great. No. No, it wasn't. I don't like that. He had a... Mm. I mean, it wasn't well, a this is now thing. actively a problem. I mean, it's a solvable problem, but it's... He's Ori likes dacking so much. He's manufactured a dacker out of this. <laughs> he genuinely is. He's going to run all the way back, isn't he? This is what I do. Oh, this is, this is genuinely what I do, man. I play, I play, I play else. It's gone wrong. I'll score right. quickly. Run away! <laughs> I think I'll try and score. I'll do it on stream. I'm like I'll score this into. I'll try a first touchdown here. And if this happens, and I just give up and then ends up struggle to score on turn eight. <laughs> I can relate very much to this. <laughs> uh, I mean, it was unlucky not to power, wasn't it? If he powers, he scores. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was unfortunate. Yes. It's, this is a great guy to carry the ball, though, um, this catcher, because, of course, he is both simultaneously a ball bitch and the guy he'd like to score on with being on 13 SPP, so it's... Uh, Brilliant, but uh, but this wolf is very reachable, isn't it? Yeah. He could fireball those. He's not going to. I think I think he's going to hang on at the fireball. 
I, I think, think it's gonna uh, use the lightning, not the fireball. Whatever, uh, whatever he uses it. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think I think he'll wait. I think he'll wait till overtime for the fireball. I think he's he's just you know he's just focused on. Or much later in the half, you know, turn fifteen, turn yeah. sixteen, turn fifteen, fourteen. Yeah. If it's really crucial odds, like it, using it speculatively now, I think is, is not what he's going to do. Also, he can keep doing his uh, two dies uh, blitz with the wolf. Yeah, into another wolf. This this is a real good blitz, isn't it? And yeah, gone. and that's the problem. Running away is not bringing enough with him. And now, will he be able to get forward in numbers again? Yeah. Of course, for those of us, those of you like me, that it's been uh, dashing around in your head. Uh, I have just Googled it to be sure. Let me confirm that the lyrics are uh, When danger reared its ugly head, he bravely turned his tail and fled. <laughs> yes, brave Sir Robin turned about. He, t uh, he gallantly, he chickened out. <laughs> and I think if you swap Sir Robin for Oriolensis there, that's uh, very much the situation we're facing. Big foul coming in on this bludge tackle, isn't it? Glorious foul. Niggled as well. Yeah, I mean it's 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 been the plan from turn one. It remains the plan. Um, uh, six elves. Uh, are we at peak elf? Assuming this one disappears somehow in a, a puff of little red mist. <laughs> Is the uh, the problem of uh, you know waiting times and all that? Yeah. But he tried to score quickly, it just failed, so what could he do? <laughs> he could have taken the two GFIs, he would have, could have taken the two GFIs. Yeah, but what if you fail, then you lose. And burning well, a reroll is bad, like you don't want to go on it with two rerolls. No. So... no you, you, yeah, I think at this point you've got to keep them dry, particularly as you face three rerolls. I, I think the best thing was to not blitz that. Cool with a with a with a mighty blow tackle. I think that was the play. Honestly, just hand off to that catcher, get the touchdown yeah. in, and and then into two plus yeah. the reroll. And I think that was the, what he probably should have done. Yep. Cease worrying about the whiz because you're on defence. Reasonable chance to turn these people over because they've lost their. Apple. Much you have to apple this one. The yeah, most reliable thing. Yeah, you have to. Even it's only 50%, it's just too many players disappearing. Okay, well, teams. it works, so that keeps this uh, this game valid and interesting, as long as the High Elves can get this score done with both the Elves they have left. <laughs> That's it, the weather, I mean, you know, making a lot of maths about extra time, rerolls, and things like that. Right now, Paul wins. Paul is winning the game. <laughs> yep. Yes, Maradam, that uh, that emote does remind me of a young lady I knew ooh, 20 odd years ago now or more. <laughs> uh, well, Satterfield, you're right, uh, that was the result. <laughs> I don't think he even will wizard, though, that's the thing, because he can just, he can just wizard in overtime. Yes, Horia Lens is turned about and gallantly he chickened out. <laughs> PC confirmed a fucker goblin. There he is from London. Well, she told me she was Australian, Jimmy, and I was young and naive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Hello. Okay, now we're trying the same thing, but in the other side of the field and with less players. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's much more likely to work. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm really tempted by a surf here, Jim. How about you? Yeah. It's a bit tempting, isn't it? It is. It's a 75% for a one die. Currently. Oh no, okay, okay, that's a nice little uh, close of the door there by Ori. 
Finally a shape I like the look of, given the limited resources. But if he bolts... Yeah, if he bolts, it's back up. In fact, if he bolts, it's even easier. You just you bolt the guard piece, don't you? Yep. And surf the ball oh, carrier. You bolt the ball the carrier. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's probably the, worth doing. The surf. Yeah. But the problem is, then you might still... You know, it might get you might get a bad scat throw in, and he's got L's and you don't. So I think you just don't. Okay. Well, you can assist with the furthest away wolf, um, surf with the nearer wolf, and then um, pick up with. You still have the ghoul and the white to respond with. Oh, yeah, you know, but somebody two could ghouls. Away, but like it could go wrong. You know, the point is, it could have yeah. gone wrong. Yeah, no, I, I, prefer, I, I prefer don't doing like that because how the hell are you going to pick a ball up that far away? I suppose with the wolf, but oof. Yeah, with the ghoul that's... and throw it back to another ghoul. Yeah, the ghoul, the ghoul assists surely, and then you uh, and then you blitter the wolf, and then the, the other ghoul gets. Uh, I guess so. Because oh no, 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 this is okay, isn't it? This is okay because then this wolf one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, 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 six. Yeah, seven, it's okay, Jim. It's not eight. great. No, I prefer oh. I prefer bolting the uh, wrestler like we saw in surfing. But then yeah. if you get a bad throw in, you can end up. Yeah. Wasting the wizard almost, that was the problem. Yeah, but you've thinned yet one more elf and you've bolted the worst piece on the field. Yeah. Good chance he's down to four elves. And you've still got two ghouls and a white to move afterwards. I, I just think that was the better play. But who knows? You know, this is guaranteed. But bolting the ball carrier is usually the right thing to do, so it's never a bad move. Wow. And the fact is that both the ghoul and the wolf can get there, um, but probably oh. then they need to think about. Um, throwing it backwards to someone else to receive it. Yeah, I, re I really Pedro. like just keeping the wizard. Honestly, I don't. I don't like e with wizarding either one. That way. Can tell you the truth. Yeah. But then I tend to be a little more aggressive, um, yeah. and you'll win a little more on inevitability. Not not hugely though. Yeah, I think this is looking pretty. And now, all of a sudden, look, this, if this goes yeah. wrong, oh, this that's is very bad, bad for now, the isn't it? Now. Yeah. Well, nice. that's why I like the surf, is it guaranteed getting the ball out of those hands, didn't it? Yeah. One way or the other. Will he roll it? No. Oh, God. Where are you even pushing to? Oh, there. oh God. God. Yeah, away from the ball, and then the fetch is now even harder, isn't it? Yeah, and now it, it, the score is even easier for Ori. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, because away. he has this uh, Blochester uh, lineman ready for action. Yeah. Yeah, this is looking horrible from Paul. Has Paul well, you can still get it? there with the ghoul and throw back to the wolf. So I think that's what I would do. Okay, that uh, the screen reduces screen. the chances of... Yeah. Uh, oh, rowdy. Very, very rowdy. You can't throw because the intercept's on, isn't it? No, you've still got another go for it. You can dodge back out to the same square, can't you? Oh, yeah, okay. GFI and then the throw. And then the throw, which is still no. only a... No, he's a used both pass. GFIs. He's used both oh, is he? GFIs, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's used both GFIs. Yeah, he used both of them. Oh, he's well then, yeah, that's, that's probably not great. You'd probably have to hold it, then. You could throw to the other ghoul, but that's probably worse. Hmm. Here we go. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I think there is a way to surf. Uh, no, no, no surf. Because he has a side step. Yeah. But to hit the ball with two dice. You can hit it and then maybe surf it afterwards. Oof. No, no, it's hard because you can't fill in this square, can you? Yeah, yeah. the one between yeah, the two no, wolves no. is very tricky to fill. Yeah. Yeah, this square you can't fill. Well, you can, but it's hard. <laughs> I mean, you can make it to the point that the only square he can go is, uh, with a side step is up toward the guard uh, player. Yeah. So that's that's something there. That... Yeah, that's what that's what that's what that's, that, what, that's, that's what why you've got to hit him for sure because yeah. then you can get yeah. a lucky scatter and everything. But yeah. It would be nice to have been able to fill this square, but it's not really possible. I, I guess it is, isn't it? It's a two plus away and then a four plus in, but it's yeah, it's, it's a lot. 
Yeah, I mean, it might still be worth trying. Maybe he's got the pow. Epic pow there. Oh, lovely. Well, now it doesn't have to be worried about. Ooh, two tackle zones. You've got to go for it, though. 2-4-2 two, two to score. Yeah. Not he's going to hit it with a... In my mind. The only question is, is there anything else you do first? Tagging the wolf is good. Standing the other elf up is good. Probably that's where you leave it. And then you've just got to do the big boy moves. Yeah. Yep. To blast for blast to blast. <laughs> oh! oh you didn't want the re -roll, re roll to go on the first one. Instant re roll. Oh, and it's oh. a full on snake. Oh my god. <laughs> maximum me, punishment. Well, maximum we punishment. Double surf. GG. I would, you would, he should. Let's see. <laughs> I was actually looking to see if there was any way to get the triple. Because <laughs> he sidesteps so almost certainly not. Yeah, it makes it. Yeah, it's. It, I instantly thought that's going to be very difficult, but it's <laughs> not impossible. No, probably not impossible. But um, probably not impossible. But close. No, probably not worth doing. But it. but surfing to at least is definitely lovely and definitely needs doing, and it's incredibly simple. I'm amazed we're not seeing it yet. A little of everything. There yeah. we go. Um, one, two, three, four. I would personally drop the DP zombie onto the ball before I did it. Yeah. Just for added safety. But no, because not him fouling, he's fouling. So the, the, yeah, he won't. <laughs> he is fouling. I mean, there is any doubt. But the block zombie can do the same thing. Or Okay, well that's still safer. The ghoul can do it. Yeah, yeah but can. I don't think he, the ghoul will, because I think the ghoul's going to pick up, so he's just going to go for it now. But I mean, he's still in three tackle zones. It should be fine. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Is the ultimate grid reroll? Yes. You have to. You have to reroll that. Yes. It's a game winning move. However, now you don't need to do the pickup. Oh. Well, you mm. go for it, foul the guard instead. Put the ghoul in next to him and then foul from beneath the ghoul. Nah, we'll wolf in, innit? Because we'll, then I get the top Yeah, sorry. The, uh, the wolf in first and the ghoul. The ghoul could go next to the wolf, couldn't he? Yep. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I like that next to the wolf. Or you can just uh, go and grab the ball with the wool and then you know, run away and then foul. The problem with trying the three plus here is if it bounces onto the elf or onto the wolf and over oh, the yeah, other and side. Oh, yeah, and it goes bounce. But I mean, suddenly it's um, it's turned into advantage elf again. Mm, and they can scatter it though, can't they? With blitzing him, so it's interesting. I'll play. I, I would play safe. I go for the foul. Yeah, play it safe, GFI foul, and see what happens. GFI, I mean, put the ghoul, you know, close to the action. Well, it's the trash ghoul. I would put it on the sideline next to the um, next to the police, wow, and then I would do the go foul. for it. Oh, he's done the super safe, non foul. Oh, exactly. But... Oh, exactly what the GB said. So, what is it? Yeah. 4 plus. 4 4 2 now. 4 4 2. Is there any way we can get down and move the zombie? Um, we can, but it's probably not worth it, is it? No, probably not. I think probably just the yeah, the big boy four four two. Yeah, definitely. Click ball, it. click and zone. That's it. Yep. Roll the two. Oh, he's done it! He's done it! He's done it! Wait! There you go! There you go! Took a lot of stars, but that was the play. <laughs> now I hate to say I told you so, but I think I told you so. <laughs> well. Unfortunately, the quick turn, the quick score has turned into a six-turn touchdown that used two re-rolls. But, <laughs> but he did pull the whiz, Jim. Oh yeah, you might. But, uh, you now, sound a little uh, oh. static with a little static there, uh, PC. Yeah. Or it's Your mic is doing things. <laughs> <laughs> I've been plugged. Glorious. The system got too excited about me being so incredibly right. <laughs>
<laughs> that's not fair because we all agree that the the play was to GFI fold. And yeah, you would have agreed, but I said it in a more confident and authoritative voice, and these things matter. <laughs> oh, yeah, you invented it. You invented it. Sorry. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I wouldn't have wizarded, see? Because now, now you're just in exactly the same spot, except you don't have a wizard's battle. Nah, I, I still think that my 2 year 5 for the score in two turns, that's it. Just throw it away to the chance. Pray, close your eyes. Oh, there's a really good shout from Bezel. Um, put yeah. the zombie where you did, so no go for it. And Ooh. then go just south of the white with the trash ghoul and foul with that. Yeah. Um, that's a really nice shout. I like that. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. That's really good. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have uh, picking up the ball. The ball. Yes. That was too no risky. three plus risk. Yeah, I like that a lot. And it's only the trash ghoul. Yeah, I like that. I think that's the smartest thing that's been said about that, Bezel. Well done. The trash, ghoul, <laughs> the trash ghoul that somehow have managed to survive all the game. Yeah. And he's been killed countless times. Yeah, he hasn't been careful with it. Careful! I throw it to the... I was to say he throw it to the wolves. But he throw, <laughs> he throw it to the elves more than a few times. I still just like putting the ghoul in a better spot and then just do the GFI foul, personally. Yeah, because the GFI foul, even if you fail the GFI, the zombie is taking up a space, which is usually the only thing zombies are good for. Yeah. Like, I wasn't that... Because like, if you do it with a ghoul, you might still get sent off, right? So it's not like it's, yeah. it's, it is a bit safer, but it's still got the same risk of there not being a Oh, there's still, there's still there. risk. There's always risk. But I just thought it was a better risk. I would say it's a very similar risk. Well, who's to say who's right or wrong, Jim? Exactly. There is no uh, supercomputer for Blood Bowl. Exactly. The first thing the supercomputer did when they installed Blood Bowl was uninstall Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's why it's a supercomputer. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice idea. It's a nice idea. It was nice to think of it. I'm not sure. That's brilliant. I love that idea. When there's a supercomputer, you install Blood Bowl. It and takes a look. Analyze has a thing this. and uninstalls it. Oh. <laughs> goes, yeah, no, you can't do Look that. At this. Ooh. Oh my god. Well, everything's coming up, wizard. There is a way, there is a way to the ball. Yeah. He's got a stick in the guard. Well no, he doesn't actually, I was gonna say ideally, but he doesn't, does he? He just he just moves to the other side. I I hate this setup against Elves, Jim. Um, you attack the zombie on either side, and there's a little two plus diagonal opened up. Yeah. And if you move the zombies in the second row one space to the inside, you do weaken your flanks. I, I will give you that. But you secure the whole central area of the pitch so much more. Yeah. Yeah, this catcher can come over, can't he, to hit that one? It's um, This is one of my bet noirs. Although I stress that by changing it, you do weaken another area, as always. This isn't so good, is it? Because if you push it... No, I think it's always hitting the wrong one. Yeah, me too. Because if they push it... I mean, if it's, it's a power, it's, if it's a power, it's, it's, it's the same. Yeah. It's a but on a push, it's worse. Yeah. And in fact, on a power, it's... I mean, it could be slightly better if it moved the... if it used the guard as the assist from a square further inside, because you'd have opened up a space that more elves could come through. Yes, that's why I was thinking he's got to put the guard to do, because I was, I, yeah. my initial reaction was guard and puts there, because I like that yeah. quite a lot. But the way he's put the elf in on the outside to give the assist has actually taken up the space he has gained to move the central elf into the backfield if yeah. he wanted to. But he's got a blood step on the ball. Yep. And he's got two elves coming through this way. Well, best hell. Well, this the only option no relations have left well, is going hard. Yeah, yeah, you does, go hard. Does he? I mean, I, I would certainly be coming with the that one and probably with the wrestle as well. The final piece, I'd be really tempted to stick it in front of the wolves, Jim. Yeah, yeah. Because if this goes wrong, and to have you've got to have something there. Yeah. I smell a one in nine in the wolves. You heard it here first. Yeah. The classic. Uh, yeah, because this isn't adding dodge. anything. I wouldn't have gone that way. I would, to be honest, I would have gone. I would have moved this guy trying to come around here somewhere. 
One, two, yeah. three. I think the wolf side is now a little bit weak. Yeah. And if this if this bounces, for example, to the right as we're looking of the okay, goal. Okay, well that's good. Yeah, I would have tried oh, that oh, first. Oh, oh. I would have tried that one first. Yeah. And then well, I still had a piece in the backfield. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because ah, you see that bounce. Yeah. Now, if you go with the trash ghoul and just hand off to the wolf, you've lost. Yeah. Three plus three plus to win the game here. Yeah. Yeah. This is the problem. This guy just isn't doing anything, is he? Like, okay, no. it's nice down there, but he's just he, he's he's superfluous. Yeah. Oh, that is I mean, you could argue he's holding a zombie in place. So there we are. I've found <laughs> a reason for it. But, yeah, but he's not doing a lot else. Really. And he'd be so much more useful in the backfield to keep a potato in Wolf honest. Yeah. Oh, tragic. Tragedy. Now, does he have the kahunas? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's no go for it. If he goes with the trash ghoul at the back, it's a three plus pickup. Yep. And then he just needs to put in a, a second assist in case the first wolf, what frenzy doesn't hit. Yeah, I'm directly there. in front of the wolf, and then he hits the one in front of the wolf to the right, hands off to that one on the right. I mean, you can just hit. So it's them. three. It's three plus three plus. Oh, he can just yeah blitz the other one off with a zombie, can't he? Yeah, he, can, he can hit. He can hit with a white white hitting. This guy's the best. Yeah, and that's fine too. Blue. Yeah, he can do all sorts of things with a girl. He just need the kahunas to roll that three plus three plus. He's got re-rolls, so each one is a one in nine, but only if you know the re-roll doesn't go. You don't the need the one. handoff, to be fair, do you? Mm, risky to keep the because Yeah, again it's any the trash can uh, try the case dive, you know, I'll Yeah. And it could work. And it doesn't have block or wrestle, so anything that hits it is gonna likely knock it over. Yeah, but if you re has gone. Oh. oh, well, he did the pointless block first. That was clever. Oh. Yeah, if the reroll has gone, you probably can think about caging it. But... Yeah. Oh, this that's is... That's what I mean. So that's what I mean. You don't have to hand it off. Yeah, if you use the reroll on the pickup, yeah. then you're running there, and then you just cage around him. Now you feel it this guy. So that's even doubly worse that he's just blocked with him, because if you know if you, if you reroll the pickup or whatever, and then you stand here... Then, then yeah. you can blitz off and then dodge away and then like make a like imagine how good that could have been. It could have had a full cage, easily had a full cage. Yeah, and remember that's a fail state. When there's a better outcome, if it all works, you've won the game. Yeah, almost certainly because if you do get there with the reroll, the one in nine hand off to the wolf. Yeah, and, and that blotch that wolf potatoing down the side is just perfect. Yeah, and you still blitz with this guy. You know? Yeah. You could yeah. just dodge him and blitz this catcher, or blitz the tackler, or, or blitz and then go off to screen, whatever. That was just not what I would have done, but who can say if it's right or wrong? <laughs> He's managed now to not he get a two dice pick up. block here, somehow. He failed the pick up now, he uh, could lose the game. Yeah. Easy. He's managed to not even get a 2D. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy, the wrong. He's not getting a 2D. No, because there is a guard, the piece there, working his magic. Yeah, this guy could have been here and then he could have bl blitzed out. This is. Mm. He hasn't blitzed, he hasn't blitzed with a wolf. That must be a misclick or something. Alright, it works. <laughs> but, but now what? <laughs> Three seconds. If I had any answer for you, I I oh, would have been coming up with it. And normally, assist. normally even if I don't like the play, I could sort of. He's what is <laughs> the f hell is going on? <laughs> you run out of time, and he did the whole uh, thing where you click on uh, somebody, and because okay. he only had one second yeah. left, he actually did the yeah. pass. You're right. Oh. He was trying to pass it to a ghoul into four tackle zones. He was trying to do a block. Yeah, wasn't yes. yeah, blitz. He was trying to blitz, yeah. Right. But he didn't unclick his ball carrier, which meant he tried to throw the ball to the person yeah. he wanted yeah, to blitz. Yeah, because he had one second left. He had one second. He's like, I've Brilliant. got a blitz, I've got a blitz. And the percent surely was a misclick. Yeah. So the user interface when it comes to the ball carrier of Blue Ball 2 is not. The... <laughs> tends to do these kind of things. Although. Whilst that was, I mean, both unfortunate and his mistake, 
Can I also point out that the plan for this entire turn was terrible long before that? Yes. Yeah. Um, let's not lose sight of that. Wow. And fra frankly, the plan in the first half, driving down a side against three elves, <laughs> giving them a chance to stop you, wasn't good either. Nope. And the attempts to sack the elves haven't been particularly brilliant. Mm -hmm. Oh, massive kill there. And allowing his best ghoul to get surfed was pretty poor too. Yep. And but now... he's reached the Chalice semi-final. Yeah. Plenty of people haven't. Yep. And now he can uh, one D. I oh, no 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 no. Oh yeah, can the two D. The zombie cuts the ball path. Yeah, he's got all sorts of options. Yeah. Can do whatever he wants. He's gonna well, be. Then right, right now it's all he's going to lose for sure, isn't it? Despite him only having one reroll. Yeah. Come on, boy, path. I don't think he passes. Yeah, I always go for the hero play. I always go for the headline, you know the. <laughs> yeah. If you, if you, yeah, it's. Jimmy prefers tricky. winning, though. <laughs> um. It's a bit. It's a bit tricky to protect against this wolf, isn't it? That's the only it, thing. It's not easy. Yes. We can make a few dodges here. GFIs. It's a bit tricky. I mean, the, the reassuring thing is that even if he doesn't manage to keep the ball... Yeah, okay, um, he's done that. What I would have uh, done is, um, I would have just screened yeah. with this guy, this lineman, I would have moved out like he was like here, wasn't he? He could have gone one, yeah. two, three and gone to where he was. So then that guy could have then, you know, gone around and picked up the ball uh, later. So I, I like just screening the ball so that it was definitely screened, you know, first. I like that. But this is great, isn't it? Two scoring threats. Ball totally safe. Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, Satterfield, look, I mean, I, I hope that Paul's okay. And I hope that everything is all right in his world because let's not make any bones about this. He has completely cocked this up. <laughs> I mean, I'm, 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 you know, I'm sorry. We haven't seen particularly anything good from him. And quite a lot of the things we've seen from him have worked, but they've been terrible. <laughs> I mean, I, I did like his plan, you know, with what he had come and hit things and foul them out but I didn't think he even put that into effect particularly well damning no. damning from PC here <laughs> but yeah I, I, I didn't like the wizard funnily enough I just didn't like that wizard because I thought just you know take the one one no. and then 50% of the time you win anyway because you're yeah, you, with a wizard you definitely said so you know we could, we could have that on record I think that's, mm. that's a fair comment I didn't like the way he did it. I did think it was a good turn to wizard, but I can I can see your point of view absolutely. Yeah. You know, he he was he you don't gamble on a winning hand to some degree, do you? Exactly, yeah. Just definitely don't do what Paul did. <laughs> Whatever you do. Now the thing is we're nearly guaranteed at least extra time. Yeah, Unless Orelens. Orelens has managed to win the game. So, yeah. all yeah. things have changed. All things yeah, have absolutely. changed. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Paul should get one, this wolf in scoring range, shouldn't he? So that at yeah, least yeah. if if Ori rolls dice and fails, he's got the counter score chance on however low yes. it is. Yes. And before he takes any other chances, that wolf should go, as you yes. said, somewhere. Somewhere useful because it's definitely not doing much about this. Now he does have a ghoul in the midfield area, which, if he does get the ball down, could be the fetch piece. So the zombies moving isn't a problem. He still needs to tag some things and control the f field. I'm not sure how to move that ghoul just yet, though. But okay, that's again, it's reasonable defence against a scoring option. But now the wolf has to go, or you're accepting that it's definitely overtime is your best outcome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, He's not even trying there to. You go. Where is the left? Oh. Yeah. 
So yes, unfortunately that wrestle doesn't even remove that catcher as a scoring threat. And now the catcher at the top between the two zombies has a three plus, two plus. Go to the touchdown and then it's a pass. Yes, yes and the other one. The, uh... He's bringing that one back to make it the same because otherwise that one had a two plus, two plus. Yeah. Hanos to the catcher to make the pass because he can just because he moves eight and can make a very easy pass. Yeah. Yep. And that's catch. So it's a one in 36. If you feel like one in 36 as well, that's it. You know, nobody, yes. no, to, to nobody can blame you, you know, for that. Almost certainly, though I'd check it first, drop a full pass range. It's definitely worth a one in 36. Um, you don't even, you don't even need one in 36, right? Hand off to this at the moment. Hand off to this catcher and you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then do a two plus pass to him. But then he's got a catch on the catch, hasn't he? So you have a four plus yeah. catch. Yeah. You have catch on the catch then. Okay, now you do. Now you just dodge with him first. Yeah, yeah. So three plus with dodge. Two plus with dodge. Touchdown, down. Hand off. Pass. Happy days. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now you're definitely three two. I mean, there might have there might have been a debate before. But now there's definitely no debate. Is he three two is off? Yeah, hands off and runs. Well, he hands off to yeah to the catcher, and then he definitely does this dodge. Wait, what's that? In fact, he can punch him first. He doesn't even need to do the dodge. He can punch with him. And then um, three, four, five, I, six, seven. I don't, don't understand what's no. doing a blitzer at the wrong side of the pitch. I have no, no idea why it's running. All yes, way back uh, waving, so can't get waving to us. I think Where it's because, yeah, he wants to keep his one tackle piece that's definitely on the pitch fine. Ah, all right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Although his other tackle piece is on the pitch too, but, you know, he wants to keep it. Oh, no, it isn't, is it? Yeah, so you punch him, because that one in 36 you can re-roll. And then you do the Wait, handoff, because you can't die on the handoff. Why not the yep. worst there? It doesn't matter. You, you, you just need to, to get this. This. Move there you go. And now, now you do the three two. Three two with it. And there you go. And if you do, it's a three plus three plus pass. Beautiful. To a two plus Beautiful. Catch with a re-roll on the two plus and a re-roll for the three plus. Yeah. So it's a one in nine, one in thirty-six to win this. Oh, he's oh, so far. oh no! 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 And he won in nines it. Oh. So unless this lands on an elf, which it doesn't, oh. you are going to see overtime. What an absolute corkscrew of a game. Twisty and turny like a plot from Hollywood. <laughs> oh. I think you can say Holly Orcs then. Now he gets surfed. I so oh. wish I had. Holly Oaks would have been a better reference. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> funnier know. reference, Jim, yeah, and that's funnier. always better. <laughs> yeah, funnier. It would have been funnier. Less universal, though. Only one for our English friends. True. Oh! But, you know, in the spirit of Brexit, fuck everyone else. Yep. We should, we should have done that joke. <laughs> right, so another elf KO'd. Oh, dear. Of course, only one roll, because, because there won't be a score. So there's two elves with a single roll, and there is, of course, the uh, the white with a single roll. Right, now we've got a dodge. Oh, yep, one, two, three, four. Dodge, gear fight, a foul. Let's go, champ. <laughs> you, don't, you don't deserve to ever play Blood Bowl again if you don't do that. Oh, my God, fuck off, you idiot. I mean, not what I would have done, but um, <laughs> who can say if this is good or bad? He's making it a three die, isn't he? Yeah, but he could have dodged foul. Dodge GFI foul. How do you not do that? Okay, he gets well, it. If he kills this, Jim. Lucky C nut. Foul right, with a broken right. armor just quietly. Now you could dodge and foul that one. <laughs> and I mean, genuinely, now I would put the ghoul on it and then dodge foul it. It's yeah. a four plus for a nice hit on a decent health. Nah, that's not worth it. This one was the one that was worth it. Yeah, I'm still, it he's I'm never seemed to value that broken. guard the level that you and I do, though, Jim. That's true. He should have done that, shouldn't he? Yeah, absolutely. It's the key piece <laughs> for the elves. 
even more than their hitter. What a game! If I wasn't playing, I already have three heart attacks. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty incredible. It's been an incredible oh. game. Oh, it's been a cracking game of Blood Bowl, which it didn't really oh. promise to be. I couldn't uh, be able to play so many turns uh, this, like this. I would just have a heart attack, concede, and install, delete the Discord and all my social media accounts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And obviously, I was just joking with all of that, you know. Uh, no offense to uh, Paul or anybody with that. I was, you know, I was just, I was just embellishing for comedic effect, just in case anyone's yes, fucking I, I stupid. Think... I hope people that listen to you and I, Jim, understand that we're both trying to comment on the game and also be entertaining to the chat and amusing. The three of us, please. The three of us. Uh, the, sorry, the three of us, Fermi. I keep forgetting you're here. Because I, <laughs> I mean, we say every wish, single thing he's that. I wish you were. Um, uh, <laughs> the three of us. We're both just having, me and PC are just having a laugh. Five minutes, just a scumbag. Exactly. <laughs> so we're just having a laugh. Lovely, that's all. Whereas Fermi is just toxic and hate film. Spanish accent, you know, like in the movies, when in a movie you hear a Spanish accent, it's always bad news. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you are a kidnapped and you hear someone speaking Russian, it's like, okay, I can negotiate this, it's going to be hard. <laughs> but when you hear a Spanish, it's like, oh, I'm done. This is going to be horrible. This is going to be horrible. Oh, dear. Yeah, I, I mean, I, you say that like you think it's unfair, right? <laughs> Well, now we have uh, extra time. We didn't, we didn't always ignore the Spaniard, Tony. We did, of course, trash the Armada. I know it's going back a bit, but <laughs> it still matters to me. Yeah, the Armada was great, wasn't it? No offence, by me. <laughs> no offence. Ah, the Armada. You, you mean the Spanish Armada? Yeah. Well, you should check what happened the next year when the English Armada tried to come to Spain. No, we, there's no point in talking about that. We, we don't get taught that at school, funnily enough. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much ends with uh, Walter Raleigh playing bowls with the heads of Spaniards. Funnily <laughs> enough, we don't get taught that. Uh, I wonder why, I wonder why. It didn't go well. <laughs> the, war, the war lasted another 30 years and ended in a draw. <laughs> nonsense, nonsense. <laughs> or as the Daily Mail would have said, outstanding victory in nil, nil Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Great victory for Britain. <laughs> well, now I have to say things look really good for Orlenses. He's receiving. He has a lot of players. Yeah. Many more than uh, we could expect, you know, seeing the... Yeah, absolutely. Time. I mean, all of the KOs have come back. Uh, yeah. I have to say, the white has as well, slightly reinforcing the Necros. Yeah. Um, it is still their worst white, but, you know, they're so short of any decent pieces that that, that yes. counts as a good but one. But now so. it comes to one of the things that elves, the high elves do the best, as I always say, is like quick scoring and finding holes and places to, you know, to run around. And I think Paul has left... A chance of a, a hole. A big smelly shit in his bed. Oh, sorry. A chance of a hole. Yes. A chance of a hole well, here. We all know. like a chance of a hole, don't we? Oh we yes. Do. But yeah, I think there's some washing on his agenda. I think he has full-on <laughs> shat the bed. Oh my god, it's a gaping hole now. Oh my lord. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's what the sort of invite else? you Deep normally only get off a of Geordie Didn't lass. Wide the open. <laughs> wow! Oh wow! God. He can make it in such a way that he gives the ball to the catcher with the Urez the catcher. No! What, what, what? Don't go that way! Oh, he's got no rerolls. He's got no rerolls. He's got no rerolls. Oh, okay, he has no to be careful of. His only downside now is there's a wolf and a white still active, and nothing in front of the ball. So yeah. he can't do a straight pickup. He has to cover it. Yeah, it's just being really safe. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. But he has the other pieces, he will have, uh, you know, block with the tackle uh, and free the block stepper. Yeah, he's, yeah. Uh, Flux Streamer wants it pointed out that from his experience, this hole reminds him of a very old prostitute's hole. <laughs> Good, uh, you know, I, it's... I can't tell you if that's valid or not. I can confirm nor deny uh, that the uh, sentence. I have no information at all of, of, of on any side. 
God. They said in times of war, every trench is a hole. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Now that of course not a pointless hit. It did free an elf and allow it back to put more of a screen up. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like not getting a catcher. I would have got a catcher. I, that first catcher that moved, I would have put five squares in. To yeah. be honest, I, yeah. I mean, my first thing would have put him five squares in right there. And look how good this square is now, right? When you look at this, uh, you know, with the way he's got these two characters here. Uh, and yep. then if the catcher's there, he's he's totally screened off this. this yeah, no, he, can't he get could in. have put a catcher in a way that no player, no the white or the wolf, could have reached him. Yeah, yeah, that that, that would have been the square for me to have put him there, mm -hmm. and that that yep. looks great now if he if he'd had him there. Um, but you know, this this was safer, and that's good. Actually, it works. I world, mean, what you don't have is rerolls, so I, it's totally fully understandable. It's not, it, you know, I think. It, Probably, I think you probably did better than me to be honest about doing this. Well, I mean, once you've got the ball in hand, Jim, you do have re rolls, don't you? Because of all of your dodge, a lot of the times that will give you a re roll to create some movement, to create some space. <laughs> it's, um, it's only the pick up and the pass, yeah, exactly. Until it's picked up, it, it's, it's going to be just dominating your thoughts. It looks like I should win this game, I've just got to get that ball in hand. I mean, it's, it's still dominating your thoughts, isn't it? Because you know, yeah. you don't have he to can go so you down have to do the safest uh, thing every single turn. He can no, true, but a lot of I mean a lot of elves I'm saying at risk can move on a one in thirty six. Well, of course, but you still just, like you've still just you know, the fact that you don't have anything, you've gotta be super yeah. safe, haven't you? Safer than you normally yeah. would be. Yeah. Your blitz is now suddenly fraught with danger because it's a one in thirty six, yeah. just the same instead yeah. of being a one in twelve nine six. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. This is a gaping hole though, to come down the side, isn't it? I would have not. Yeah, even hit no, him. no, he can go any of the sides, but I think yeah, going down this, the left side is the wise option. He can take care of the wolf without much problem. Yeah, the problem is is that his his two tackles. I mean, the one he'd love to hit with is too far away, really. And the one that's nearer has to do a dodge first. So again, it's as Jim's saying, it's all about being super, super safe. Putting all the moves in first, and then risking that, uh, that one in thirty-six dodge and one in thirty-six hit. I mean, you can always try to do a vanity pass to establish dominance, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you could, but oh, he's not even hitting the wolf. Not even hitting the wolf. He's going to control it from around the other side, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Do you foul the ghoul? I quite like fouling the ghoul, you know. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's where I thought he'd do. Dodge through afterwards and control the wolf from around the other side of it. That's pretty strong. It's, um... The key to that defense is that the wolf can do some bad things, but only if the ghoul stands up first, and then yeah. the ghoul can't do bad things afterwards. Yeah, this looks really rough for Paul now. Yeah. Really rough for Paul. Um, you know, now yeah. the ghost, the ghost of the flesh golems crossing the screen. <laughs> you see what you're saying, Buzzle, but um, that ghoul that's on the floor doesn't have wrestle. Yeah, so certainly an uphill wrestle would be more worrying if it had wrestle. That's the bad yeah, thing. that's the bad ghoul. But I mean, wrestle is still kind of bad, isn't it? It can still pop you with an uphill, but who cares yeah. if he pops you? However, that's also the bad catcher, yeah. which is catch only. It doesn't have yeah. block. That's what I mean. He hasn't got blocks, so really, the yeah. D still pops the ball away from you. So I would have uh, like this guy out of which he away. goes for. Yeah. Oh, it's the. Yeah. I don't know if I'm ahead of you. It's the big old pound. And he's got the arm break as With well. Bounce out options. Oh, but it doesn't. Dodge out options as well. Yeah, I think you dodge and pick up and run on, don't you? Here. Yeah, that's why you've I quite got like you've got the reroll. So if you dodge him out there, one, two, three, four, five, six, then it's an uphill. They probably don't even foul, just dodged him out to do it. Maybe. I mean, if he doesn't dodge him out, that ghoul is going to be probably surface or worse. Yeah, that seems... He's not doing How anything do you know? there. Ah, oh, one, two, three, four. 
put, pop a couple of go for it in, you could be, you know, clear of any surfing risk, have the ball in hand. Yeah, that's. I, I don't. Understand. I think it's a dereliction of duty staying there and leaving. Yeah, the ball exactly. On the I ground. think yes, dodge away. I mean, the ball on the ground against elves is a ball gone anyway. But a ball on the ground that I don't see any oh, realistic chance of you there. picking up. Reroll gone. I don't and then you reroll that, which. How's that going to help? I don't know. It's dereliction. You can derelict my balls, Hansel. <laughs> Just wanted to say that. I'm confused, Jimmy. I'm really confused. I mean, a stress. The yeah. entire. Yeah. Yeah. Has a yeah. role here. It's 18 tons of a very complicated game. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Good point. Tough turn after. A, definitely tough turn after a lot of blood bowl. It's still got to be bothering him that a game that felt won now looks almost yes. certainly lost. It's been, it has gone downhill step by step, but you know, slowly and surely. Okay, now he has got one die here that does make things more complex if it works, doesn't he? Yeah, lovely. Okay. Now he can actually bounce the ball again. You've got that's to bounce the ball again. That's incredibly scary, though, if you bounce the ball. Not the skull, that's better. Well, it's, now he's lost. Well, I don't two pluses. Yeah, lost. okay. He's, well, he'd lost anyway, but now he's re lost. Although, there's still no. It's still a 1 in 9, isn't it? Because. Oh, no, it's a 1 no. in 36. No, it's, one, it's yeah. a 1 in 6 for the pickup, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Sharp the ghoul. Yeah, don't I was thinking. He can't. Don't even serve him. Just block him and put him on. Just put him on there. Well, I mean, yes, yes. yes. What the fuck? He, Don't do that, Jesus Christ! Why? Why are we doing these things? Just push him. There we go. Follow. Don't Follow. surf. Two plus. No. Two Don't win. surf. Exactly. Yes. Two plus. Two plus to win. Okay. Do the surf first. Though you shouldn't. If I had to guess, who would win the 2022 World Cup? Qatar. There you go. The losers, everybody else. I guess this mitigates the risk of the of the one in six, right? You're taking one in 36 as to mitigate the risk of the of the one in six. Yeah, I I can't improve on your answer, Jim. Except to say the losers will be the human rights of the people of Qatar. And the expat workers there. You, you are talking as, the, as if they had uh, human rights before. Well, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <gasps> He's workers. double won the catch! Don't oh my god! Oh! Okay. And then okay, he okay. caught it! He caught the scatter so he could still scream, maybe ish! Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, he's got a couple of elves that can solve this problem. Although there's a rowdy wolf and white. If he does dodge off that white, it makes it easier for the problem to be made worse. Ooh, what a dilemma! What to yeah, do? What that's to That's the do? right space. Yep, he's and then got you the probably punch. just click he's enter and you do. Oh my god. This is unreal, isn't it? Oh, three yeah, plus no. to put the guard he in. Can, he can 2D the, the, the layman. The, wolf. Not three the plus layman uh, tagging the white. And then the white can move and uh, give guard for the wolf yeah. bleach. Yeah, 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 no, you're right. Yeah. The only problem is if it's a push, not a pow, then the. Wolf has to dodge, but it he's frees the dodge. white, which is what you need. Yeah, he's got dodge. And the wolf has dodged, so it's a one in nine. That felt irrelevant, but welcome to the party, zombie. <laughs> Sometimes you need to move something before doing the actual serious it, play. It always feels I, nice to have them involved. Also, it's like the kind of thing, okay, it's going to be rough. I'm going to do this thing, easy, easy thing, small things first, you know, and then I go to the big one. I mean, you and I might keep them back for... I mean, I don't hate that first one, actually. I hate the second one. I might not have done it. I see the advantage of doing it. But I might not have done it just to be more responsive once I hit the ball, because there's all sorts of places it can bounce to. But having it there is also good in case that hit failed, for example. Although if that hit failed, it was pretty much game over. Yeah, here we go, then. He's got dodge on this blitz now. Yep, <gasps> one in nine. Oh, oh. Oh, dodge pop! That may be impacted because it means if this hit works, he can't do anything afterwards. Really wanted it to work on the first. He gets the power. Gets the power on the second, but now it's look where he's landing. Right by loads of elves. He's got kind it. Of oh, 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 oh. I saw that when it happened. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. 
Magnet hands in. Oh my god! Yeah, the minute it was the second set of pa second set of dice, I thought those elves are having that. This wolf has to get off and uh, tag. Yeah, has and these to. two because at the moment uh, this guy goes up to there and he blitzes. And yes, sidestep is ineffective, so he has to he has to dodge off and tag these two. And he does it. Whew. Yeah, I was going to say, and then this other zombie can now be a bit more hmm. useful. So you see that zombie that moved first, now one more go for it, and being one space further towards their own touchdown line would have been good. Mm. Uh, however, it, it wasn't terrible to put it in, it really wasn't. The one that went up the back, I thought, was... Turn 20, worse. turn 20! Oh, yeah, you could have pushed it to here, but I, yeah, why not push it there? Maybe he'd be out of range. No, he would have still been out of range, so yeah, I probably should have pushed it there, shouldn't he? Good point, Bazaar. He hasn't blitzed with him. What? Oh, because I guess even in case he pushes to there. But then you could hand off to him. Oh, now, we're on a catcher. Anyway. Oh, he can fill we're, it in anyway. He's got yeah, we're got eight here. faces away. Can um, fill in there. Yeah, he's he just a two him. plus to win. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he can I, fill in. I like that. Yeah, here we go. That is better because yes, it was two one. And that's sixes. it. That's it, ladies that's and it. gentlemen. Boom. And Oriel Lenses takes high elves to the final. Boom. High elves. And despite it looking like they were in real trouble, ultimately all that happened is two pretty crappy elves died. Yep. In there the you go. I mean, they did die in like the first ball, two ball, turns. Ball, 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 ball. Yes, they did. But <laughs> after that, nothing happened to them. Yeah. Two good, two bad elves dead. All the good elves alive. Aurelensis goes through. Congratulations. Aurelensis reached the final. Unbelievable. And we've Against... been saying it since the start. Sorry, Fami. We've been saying it at the start. Look at those orc cheerleaders. Too much chalice equity in those orc cheerleaders. <laughs> a proper professional. A proper professional. <laughs> and fantastically aggressive. A super offensive fouling game that Pole has given us in the past. This time, I really didn't feel he coached particularly well. Um, for once, I feel justice was done. But commiserations to Pole. Great run. And some great coaching along the way. Uh, and congratulations, Oriolensis. Yep. Uh, what a game. Going. What a game. Jesus. <laughs> It was unbelievable, wasn't it? Incredible. Unbelievable. All kind of stuff has happened. Or any single, every single thing that could happen happened. Bleach. Yeah. Pitch invasion. <laughs> well, there were at least two moments for each of them where I thought it's 100% theirs now. And both times it wasn't. Yeah. Unbelievable. Right. Well, thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Aurelensis. Absolute legend. With an absolute average team. Nothing Aurelensis, he was already in huge trouble long before that. Yeah, no, congratulations, Aurelensis. I thought you coached much, much better. Really solidly throughout that game. Um, and absolutely deserved it. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and I love so. the fact that the Ming Maxer, I mean, with all the respect for the Paul as a person, but I don't like this kind of Ming Maxing uh, tactics to get more, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, advantage TV and all that and things like that. I don't like that that much, and I don't like Necros in general, and I love High Elves. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm with I'm with I'm with you, Fermir. I mean, all respect to Paul, but I hated him, hated his team, hated his coaching style, and hated everything about it. And I love High Elves and love Aurelensis. So yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, basically <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there you go on that bombshell. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you very much, Fimir and PC. And uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.